It was in early 2017 when I got the book. The book was handed to me by a dear friend and a classmate saying that, you know, Amma, you really would like this book. And Amma means sister in Burmese. I rolled my eyes and responded, just because a woman wrote it, it doesn't mean I will automatically like it, you know. And he repeated himself saying that, oh, you like it, not because it's a woman's book, but because it talks uh, so much about the issue that you care about. I was familiar with the word feminism or feminist at that time, but I only had vague understanding of it from school discussion. When I was reading the book, I decided to translate it because the book gave me person a space and permission to own the word feminist and be it without apologizing it and explaining myself you know and after reading and translating the book I decided to do things like this was the journey of me becoming feminist rather than me talking about translation itself you know because one is like it gave me permission to call myself a feminist and be a full-time unapologetic feminist and two is that it gave me like the ownership to t tell my own stories I grew up in a small village in Shan State. I'm ethnically Nepali, but my first language was Shan. So which means growing up in a small village with multi-ethnic groups has naturally made me exposed to many lives and story. And intersectionality was something I was raised to practice, even though I did not know the word at that time. What I realized when I first came to Rangoon to study at a liberal arts school, I met a lot of educated and well-rounded people who are extremely eloquent and smart but initially I was almost like intimidated by their loud voices and confident language you know one day during a discussion when we had um, about women's right I was trying to engage in the dialogue with my half-baked knowledge and lived experience I raised concern I raised concern about menstrual injustices to my surprise the conversation was quickly dismissed by saying that it's not as important as so-and-so issues, and we need to focus on that. I remember, even though I couldn't articulate that time, I remember I I refused to participate in such dialogue when issues, women's issues, are in hierarchical orders. Just because you are educated doesn't mean you will practice feminism in the most correct way. And I think that's when I realized that my voice has a vital role in this discussion. And I need to make sure that I continue being the advocate of the people who are like me, who came from a rural area. Like for me, this book also gave me a, 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 tr a tool to simplify feminism for everyone, the young people, uneducated people, or like people who are not interested in the political agenda or anything like that to become interested in feminism. I hope everyone read this book because it will make everyone understand why feminism is so much needed in the world, not just in Myanmar, in the world, and why we should all be feminists, essentially.